بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ٹیکنو جینئر اور ٹوڈیز ٹاپک ہے سکاڈا ان پاور سسٹم سو انیشلی وی ویل سی وٹ از سکاڈا اینڈ دین وی ویل سی وٹ آر دا بیسک فنکشن آف دا سکاڈا سو ان آرڈر ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دا ورکنگ پرنسپل آف سکاڈا یو نیڈ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دا بیسکس آف انرجی مینجمنٹ سسٹم Actually, uh, when the energy is produced uh, in the generation side, it will, uh, we need to observe the, its parameters like we need to check the uh, output voltage of the system, current of the system, power of the system, rotation of uh, the turbine and, the, uh, and uh, then the frequency, then the quality of the power, then the waveform of the, uh, uh, our system. So these are the parameters which we need to check. So in order to check these parameters, we, uh, we need an energy management system. So these energy management systems are installed in the generation side, in the transmission side and in the distribution side. Even in the substations, in the grid stations, these energy management systems are installed. So the, uh, we usually uh, consider these energy systems as uh, either we name as SCADA uh, or we can name as uh, Distributed uh, Automation and Control System, DAC systems. So in the distribution, uh, distributed uh, uh, automation and control system, we, we usually use in the distribution section where we have a grid station and we have a certain load which we have multiple loads in, in, in multiple feeders. So we need uh, uh, a distributed system which will measure uh, the value of the uh, powers in in separately so there will be no centralized control system while in the generation and the transmission system we would uh, prefer a SCADA system which is centralized control system which can monitor or control both uh, all the parameters and uh, uh, based on that parameter we can take the decision and add in the center control room we can control these parameters so if you see the word SCADA, SCADA is supervisory control in data acquisition so there there must be some supervisor which will be which will uh, check the data and based on the data it will take some decisions and uh, and the power uh, of the system is controlled according to that decisions so uh, in, in the basic functionality of the energy management system we have we need uh, to improve the overall efficiency of the system so uh, similarly we need uh, we, we we need to increase the penetration of different energy resources like coal fuel nuclear uh, renewable energy sources but we do not uh, didn't want to disturb the power quality of the system so uh, these energy system the, these energy management system will give some information about the quality of the power and we can control or manage this power according to our requirement similarly uh, we can, uh, based on these management system we can uh, reduce our uh, reserves and we can minimize the cost of the uh, power generation and the last one is it increases the reliability if there is some fault occurring in the power system these energy management system shows uh, some alarms and uh, based on that alarm we we will uh, stop uh, um, or minimize th those faults and our power system will work perfectly so uh, now moving towards the scada system scada is uh, it 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 has uh, some equipments uh, and, and which which are used to control the uh, different parameters of the power normally the equipments which are used in SCADA are the digital equipment sensors telemeters two-way communication systems and uh, uh, remote station and master stations which are used to control the overall performance of that system so the objective of the starda system is to monitor uh, the parameters of the power system secondly to measure uh, the the parameters of the power system so for the measurement it will usually use uh, current sensors uh, 
which is known as CT current transformer uh, and for the voltage measurement it used PT potential transformer uh, or uh, it used different kind of relays to uh, um, to protect these systems similarly it required some data acquisition some, uh, some data loggers are required which it continuously observe the information and save it in a central controller uh, the third, uh, fourth one is the data communication. It is a two-way communication. We can send our message from the base station to the uh, end consumer and we can receive the message from the end consumer to the base station. So it is a two-way communication. We have special kind of meters available which can support this two-way communication. In the previous uh, uh, or the traditional power system, we usually use analog meter, which are, are not even a single way communication. But uh, uh, after the analog power meter, we uh, we have digital power meters, which uh, which normally support a single one way communication. But now we are using smart meters, which usually support two way communication. In smart meters the two-way communication is supported by a protocol like GSM uh, radio frequency interface or uh, through uh, some Ethan Ethernet protocol or uh, or some dedicated kind of uh, protocols available for uh, for these systems like uh, uh, for the power system we usually use PLC PLC is uh, mm, uh, power line communication. It is a, a, we use power lines to communicate uh, to send the information in from remote station to the central control. So it is not a programmable logic control. It is power line communication. So uh, in countries like Pakistan, it is uh, uh, we usually use PLC to control to communicate these things in the power system. So, uh, the fifth one is the controlling so we have the uh, facility to control these parameters we can maintain these parameters we have special devices like FAC devices to, in order to control these kind of parameters and the last one is automation so we will automate the whole system and we can uh, we can perform automatic operation to get the required results so there are three major components in SCADA system. One is master terminal unit, second one is uh, remote terminal unit and the third one is communication. The master terminal unit is usually connected at the above level where, uh, where we have central controller and the master control unit receive all the information from the remote terminal unit which are connected in the remote sites of that. So multiple remote sites give information to the master control unit and the master control unit will send this information to the central controller and uh, these information are sent by using communication network we use wireless or wired communication networks uh, and modems uh, uh, and modulators and demodulators to uh, to perform the communication uh, interface so the major th the features of the uh, substation controller are data processing application so it is normally a software which process uh, the data it will usually collect the data process it and and shows different information in different sections so uh, it performs some uh, uh, necessary functions there is some uh, programming you know, on it and we can perform different kind of function yeah, in the data processing application the second one is data collection application it is a central computer where uh, all the data, uh, access data or the components of the system is attached or saved on, um, uh, is, is controlled over there. And the third one is control database. So the, uh, the this is a central control room where we, uh, we store the whole database of both data processing uh, application and data collection application. We we uh, uh, we can perform different kind of graphs based on these control database. 
so if you see this thing that uh, we have power station over here we have multiple plc's which are connected with these power station and these power station information of these plc's are uh, shown in hmi and the scada uh, scada system uh, will have the interface at the hmi and at uh, the plc so from the plc it will control the whole system and from the hmi it will monitor the whole system so if you see so the one two and three these three layers are controlled by the scada so the major function of scada uh, in power system is, is it uh, uh, it help for automatic uh, bus sectionalization it uh, also help in automatic reclosing after a fault sync third one is synchronous sec fourth one is protection of the equipment in the uh, substation five fifth one is fault reporting sixth one is transformer load balancing seventh one is voltage and reactive power control eighth one is equipment condi uh, condition and monitoring ninth is data acquisition tenth is status monitoring and eleventh one is data log if you see that the major function of the power system a, a is controlled by the scada like data logging it will collect the data status monitoring it will uh, check the real time status of the data for the data acquisition it will uh, collect the data from the sensors and save the data uh, for the equipment condition monitor will show the capability or the uh, of the equipment or the status of the equipment similarly the output voltage input voltage sending and voltage receiving and voltage active power reactive power and similarly we have the load balancing issue in the power system so the information for the load balancing is also shown in the power in this scada system so if you see this block diagram it is a complete block diagram of the scada system we have analog or digital sensors this analog and digital sensors gives the information to the remote terminal unit and from the non remote terminal unit we have the modem which can receive or send the information to our, toward uh, the central control or master station so from the master station to the remote station there uh, there is a modem which facilitate the communication if we remove the modem then we can have a wireless link over here then we have the central control system and from the central control system we have three uh, kind of information one is for the data display second one is uh, alarms and the third one is control so we can use these information to control the all the parameters of the remote session so um, the normal advanced type uh, scada system is basically and uh, we have an internet and from the internet the multiple things are connected like we have scada we have substation control we have demand side load management we have energy management system we have substational control scada backup em fm uh, wireless communication and then we have substation controller revenue graphic information system substation control. so we have different kind of information which are available um, and each information is connected with the internet and from the internet we can get the information from anywhere uh, around the world so this is the whole system of the scada we have the power system this power system is connected with some ethernet or servers these servers are then connected to the main grid or the central office from where we can operate the whole system so the advantages of the scada system it reduces the substation design and construction cost because once we have the control of the uh, data acquisition center we uh, we we can control or monitor each and every parameter from there so the resources uh, uh, operating cost of the system is reduced similarly overall lowering of the power system operation cost similarly development of the information of non scada function and uh, there are some functions which are cannot be monitor or Mm, uh, uh, cannot be uh, cannot send information so they are called non scada functions similarly we have utilization of existing resources and company standard for the hardware software and data generation once we are continuously monitoring the system we can uh, uh, we can um, define some standards and we ask the vendors to do uh, to observe to maintain that standards 
similarly we have the option of expansion and we we can develop a customer improved customer relation with the due to scada if you know that uh, scada is based on uh, the companies which are providing the information uh, uh, providing the equipment by which we can control so the common companies which are used Uh, in the power system are schneiders and the software which is used for, for the schneider is sitec uh, scada and then we have wonderware and the software which is used for the wonderware equipment is in touch then we have honeywell uh, uh, the and the software is xperon scada ifx is used by uh, general electric and ignition is used by inductive automation and the last one is siemens and the software name is siemens siematic win cc v7 so there are different kind of softwares also available for different kind of plcs or the uh, scada um, systems so scada there are multiple applications which are where you can use scada like uh, in power system generation distribution and transmission we use scada in every manufacturing plant in advanced manufacturing plant we use scada in, in mass transit or railway stations scada is used similarly water water waste management sewerage in uh, applications we are using scada similarly we are using scada in building facilities and environments environment monitoring similarly we are using scada in multiple power plants like thermal power plants nuclear power plants scada is used. so this is the whole setup of the scada if you see we have multiple in uh, lcds or displays and we have multiple information based on that information we can control different parameters of this thank you jazakallah stay blessed allah